One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a U-Haul 15-foot box truck. And I'll tell you what, you need a cheap way to move a lot of stuff, furniture, moving out of your house, whatever. A U-Haul is likely the way to go. Whether it's in town or it's cross country or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, it's a U-Haul. So you'll be hauling. That's all there is to it. Um, this is a nice truck. I've had very good luck whenever I get a U-Haul truck. Um, you know, they're always in great mechanical order. Um, sometimes they'll be a little wear and tear because they're getting towards the end of their service cycle on that particular truck or something. I've only got one or two that like was just like, well, they did the job, but they weren't like beautiful. This truck is a 66,000 mile, almost brand new, I believe, truck. I'm gonna go around it, give you some tips and stuff, talk about it for a minute. Um, I took a video of the inspection and the check-in, if you will, of when I got it to where people could see that you gotta check these things out. They will charge you for damage. Um, you usually, in my opinion, if you're just gonna keep it for a day around town, you wanna get the insurance. The insurance is awesome. Um, it helps out a lot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda walk around and show you the truck and the features of it. This will be different than a lot of my walk around videos. Check out my channel, check it out. There's about 3,000 videos on there. I know I said check it out, check it out, check it out like three, four times, but that's life. When there's damage on these trucks and it's been went over, there should be a sticker like that on it. Um, this guy didn't have one, he said, when I found this damage. You can see right there, that's the whole truck. Has that big dent right in that area. Well. Make sure you check this stuff out beforehand to where you don't have a problem because they will charge you for it and it is not cheap. And you'll see these little stickers everywhere. Now, even if you get insurance, they don't cover about the top foot and a half. So if you're an idiot and you crunch that, it's not covered. Little things like this, I would just smack down with a hammer except I'm sure none of their vendors have enough brain to smack that down with a hammer or something, but just not their, not their responsibility. Not my job type of deal. Um, tires, I bet you they've been replaced once on this truck and recently. Um, it, there is something about getting a truck that's been serviced properly and you can feel confident in jumping in and driving. Um, I do feel confident. Jumping in and driving this has passed all kinds of U-Haul inspections. What year is this thing? 10 and 11. Wow, they sure haven't put many miles on it. So, all kinds of this stuff. There's an extra little something on the key. And On these, the tow haul immediately gets put in. Use tow haul on dry roads only. I've never, ever, ever known that. Okay, so that's kind of the interior. They give you three 12 volt power supplies, which is pretty nice. I've never even taken this. It don't even come all the way for it. I've never even had a single cab truck, I guess. Um, I'm gonna pop the hood. We were wondering if it was a six or an eight in it. I'll tell you what, there is plenty of power. They've got some full on dummy proof instructions for people here. Hey dummy, don't do this. Okay, let's look in the back. Just for the heck of it here. Now, this is full. Full of trash. We've loaded this sucker up. So it it hauls quite a bit. It's actually my second load with it. I moved a seat and it's full of stuff. And now I'm moving this. Okay, I popped the hood. We'll look underneath the hood, see what's up with that. It is a nice truck. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've never opened the hood on 
I'm not sure. It's gotta be an eight. Five, four, what do they put in these? Six, eight, wow! It's a 10, man. I'm a douche. He asked me, is that a six? And I was like, well, I don't think so. And then I was like, well, it doesn't sound that loud. Maybe it is a six. Freaking V10. So you can figure your gas mileage on them. I usually get about 12, just rolling around in the V10. Okay, that's the walk around and review of this. I'm gonna take this right back to my place here, right now. I've got one of my shops over there, and that's where we're actually going to leave from. Like new truck, basically. Seats, everything in it, just nice as can be. More dummy, dummy stickers everywhere, man. Like, hey, dummy. Jeez, I'm serious. They're just, it's nothing but dummy stickers. These things turn on a dime. They're very easy to drive. Um, whether you're young, never drove one, man, lady, whatever, just rent it. Get the insurance and go do it, buddy. Yeehaw! They're not hard to drive. They're just very set up to drive nicely. And the V10s almost have a dieselish sound nowadays. They really, really do. and it automatically, watch, the minute you start it, it starts off in tow haul. You don't need that for driving around town and you just push that to get it off. If you're not pulling a load, you don't need tow haul. This is a V10, it's got plenty of power. So you don't need that kind of thing. Okay, if you're looking for a car, I've got plenty of them. That's your walk around on the U-Haul. Can't think of anything else that I'd like to tell you about it. Um, they're great running trucks, you can get a a 10, a 15, a 17, a 20. There's all kinds of different ones. The 15 is very, very roomy. Um, we've moved all kinds of stuff. I've got all kinds of cars for sale. Excursions and you name it, Grand Wagoneers. I definitely have an era of cars that I sell. There's a Mustang there we got coming up, GT Convertible, GTAs, you name it, Mercedes. Older stuff, Cadillacs, Infinities, 70s, 80s, 90s cars are my thing and I sell an awful lot of them. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. That is the U-Haul video. And I'm just trying to show you, I've got three more lots just like this with cars everywhere. There's just gotta be something you're interested in. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com.